Well, good morning from Wales. Currently heading south, uh, just away from Bala, towards Dalgethley. And uh, it's a beautiful day. No need to travel to foreign parts for such good weather. And for those of you now saying, yeah, but what about when it rains? Uh, well, you know, I'm from Britain, so I'm used to it. Plenty of bikes out today absolutely loads of them uh, understandably we're on some absolutely classic welsh riding roads here so uh, sit back and enjoy the uh, enjoy the ride that never-ending roller coaster that a twisty road and a motorcycle brings you As ever on British roads, plenty of uh, temporary traffic lights um, and uh, quite often I'm not entirely sure uh, what they're there for. They seem to be protecting a piece of road that's about to be worked on but currently nothing's happened to. Maybe I'm being too cynical but uh, anyway, um, gives you a moment or two to, uh, to admire the scenery which uh, on a day like today is really, really fab. So quite a few straight stretches on this road, uh, we're approaching uh, Dalgethley now and uh, as, we, uh, as we get to Dalgethley we'll be joining the, the A470, a classic road that winds its way through Wales from top to bottom um, and I can assure you the, uh, the straight bits are uh, fortunately less, uh, less common on that road so it's uh, a great riding road. So. Uh, Dalgethley actually um, hidden away there in the, the trees in front of us um, and uh, we're going to uh, bypass it all together so we're going to take a left here onto the A470 and actually we're going to be heading almost almost uh, back east now uh, as we uh, uh, start to go a little bit further south. Some lovely sweeping bends on these roads and some great vistas as well. I'll try and put some uh, identifications on for some of the hills if I can. And we're carrying on the 470 but to the right is the road down to, uh, to Corris and McCunthleth. That's also uh, a very pleasant road to ride on. And I can recommend a visit to the Corris Railway if you're that way. A few uh, riders there having a bit of a leg stretch. Don't blame them. I think it's uh, time we thought about that too. Looks like there might be potential uh, photography opportunities uh, at the top of this pass. So uh, we'll see how we go when we get there. So I'm gently encouraging Brian on the radio now to um, to consider stopping here so uh, we can uh, get a few photos because it looks uh, like it's going to be a good view. Right. 
All right, time to get airborne. So back onto the road again, plenty of bikes about today as you can hopefully see from some of the aerial footage and I was talking to uh, some folk in the lay-by from, uh, from my native West Midlands so we were able to converse in our, uh, our native tongue. I've lived in North Yorkshire for over 30 years so my accent isn't as strong as it was although I am guess that uh, some of you might disagree with that but it certainly isn't as strong as it used to be. And uh, we're descending now um, on the A470, what an absolutely beautiful ride this is and uh, very very pleasant on a lovely day. See, I think the A470 is more popular with riders even than uh, than the road up to Tabala. nice blooms on display this is uh, May 2024 so uh, don't know when I'm going to get to actually uh, put this uh, footage out but uh, you can hopefully see from the, uh, the growth on the plants that it's clearly uh, that time of year where uh, everything has sprung into life And 
and the A470 continues uh, into mid and eventually South Wales here where we're going to be uh, we're going to be turning left heading towards uh, Wellspool or Etrolwing I don't know I, forgive me the pronunciation I don't uh, um, find it the easiest of words to pronounce anyway that's us now um, on to a completely different day road uh, the A458 I think um, and uh, this is a, a nice road for a ride too with some uh, some very pleasant uh, twists and turns and uh, nice sweeping bends Landscape changing a little bit now as we head uh, uh, towards the uh, the border with England. Hills not uh, not quite as rugged, uh, still beautiful nonetheless. down at my GPS screen it looks like there's a fairly sharp uh, right hander coming up so that should be good yeah here we go Titans So we continue to make good progress uh, eastwards towards Welshpool. Uh, so I think it's time to say thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed uh, the footage today. If you have, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Uh, that really helps uh, more people to see it. And, uh, until next time, uh, thanks to Brian up in front there and uh, see you on the next video.